Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The answer, caffeine lasts in our systems anywhere from 4 to 6 hours on average, and it has a half-life of about 5 hours. That means if you consume 200 mg of caffeine, after 5 hours, you'll still have 100 mg left in your body. Make your mark, take our lead. Drink water drinking water won't flush your system of caffeine, in spite of the common sense wisdom. However, caffeine is a diuretic, which means that it can cause dehydration. Drinking plenty of water will help minimize dehydration and help alleviate some of the symptomatic effects of the caffeine jitters. Take our lead. Stick to a 2 p.m. cutoff. As this current study shows, late afternoon caffeine can cause problems for your sleep, even if you aren't aware of it. To avoid sleep disruption, restrict your caffeine consumption primarily to the morning hours. If you do have a midday cup of coffee, make sure to finish it before 2 p.m. Take our lead. Extremely high daily intakes of 1,000 mg or more per day have been reported to cause nervousness, jitteriness and similar symptoms in most people, whereas even a moderate intake may lead to similar effects in caffeine-sensitive individuals 9, 10. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Caffeine is usually thought to be safe in moderate amounts. Experts consider 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine a day to be a moderate amount for adults. But consuming as little as 100 milligrams of caffeine a day can lead a person to become dependent on caffeine. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Because caffeine is a stimulant, most people use it after waking up in the morning or to remain alert during the day. While it is important to note that caffeine cannot replace sleep, it can temporarily make us feel more alert by blocking sleep-inducing chemicals in the brain and increasing adrenaline production. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.